hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity newcomers you're so so welcomed please remember to like share subscribe comment to my youtube channel so today we are making these shots uh it's a two-piece shot uh two-piece meaning it has the bras and the shots on my previous video i showed you guys how to crochet this beautiful bikini top and today i'm going to show you how to crochet the shots it's very very simple tutorial very easy for beginners to follow through and very very sexy to wear on the beach or wherever you're going so without so much talking let me show you how the up close looks and then we'll start the work so i'm using color red and orange yarn this is winter king yarn a brand from kenya it's medium weight yarn acrylic yarn so both yarns are acrylic yarn made in kenya medium weight yarn okay and also using tab measure and a 4 mm millimeter hook that is 4.0 we'll also need a needle and a pair of scissors for this project so that's all you need to start our project so i'm making a slip knot right now we're starting from the west going downwards and i'm starting with color orange so this is how i make my slip knot so we begin with the foundation chain and we are chaining 120 chains so 120 chains when you stretch your chains should be equivalent to your hip measurements my hip measurements will be 36 when you stretch out your yarn so Make sure you stretch it and when i stretch mine is 36 that is my hip measurement so take your hip measurements that will be the foundation chain so after that we are going to attach the end to the beginning just like this using a slip stitch So when you're done with the slip stitch, that's how you do a slip stitch. You'll chain one, then do single crochets all round. So finish up with a slip stitch like that, then chain one and do single crochets all round. so i'm coming to the end of this row of single crochets and we are finishing up with a slip stitch so we're going to do a slip stitch here just like this then chain three and 
Tanyola. So slip stitch, chain three, and turn your work. So to begin row two, we'll chain three as I said earlier, then yarn over and do double crochets all through. So for row two, we are doing double crochets all through. So do double crochets all round then i will meet you at the end So your work should be looking like this. These are double crochets on the second row. And it looks like this. So finish finish up, then I'll meet you at the end. So I'm done with row 2 and we are reattaching row 1 to row 2 using a slip stitch. So slip stitch at the end, chain 3 and turn your work. So basically that's the pattern. We are slip stitching at the end, chaining three and turning turning your work. Then you do double crochets all through till the end. Then you slip stitch. So that is the pattern. As for now, we are still using the orange yarn. We haven't changed our yarn yet, so that's what I'm doing. This is how row 3 looks like. Your waistband should be looking like this. We are working on row 3 and your waistband should look like this. So let's finish up row 3 and see what's next on row 4. So I'm almost at the end of row 3. I'm just finishing up with few double crochets at the end here. Then I'll join using a slip stitch, then turn my work, chain three and continue row four using slip stitches. So right now I'm just joining together like this using a slip stitch. So join using a slip stitch like that. It looks like this. So neat and simple then chain chain two then turn your work and continue with the double crochets until the end okay
so this is how your waistband should be looking we've done four rows so right now i want to reattach the red yarn but the pattern is still the same after reattaching so reattach your red yarn and continue with the same same pattern use double crochets at the end join using a slip knot i mean join using a slip stitch then chain two turn your work continue with double crochets all round so basically that's the pattern very easy and i'll meet you once you're done with your rows okay So I'm at the end and I'm reattaching the two using a slip stitch. That's how I do it. So slip stitch, then we'll chain two and turn your work as usual. So that's what I'm doing right now. Then I'm going to turn my work like that and continue with the pattern. So continue with the pattern until you get to 6.5 inches. This is 6.5 inches. Let's measure this to make sure it's 6.5.
so remember our shorts are stretchy we stretched our foundation chain to 36 so measuring this it's coming to 15.5 inches but the shorts are stretchy so it will fit so you don't need so much baggy shorts now we're going to find the middle part of our shorts so that we make a leg hole so find the middle part of the shorts take a tape measure divide by two and you'll find the middle part of your shorts and once you find the middle part you will chain 15 for size small we are trying to put the leg holes for size small chain 15 for size medium chain 20 and for size large chain 25 so i'm size small so i will chain 15 and reattach this chain to the other side of the leg so you can use a stitch marker to mark both sides that is the middle part so when you're done with your 15 chains you'll reattach to the other side i hope this is clear so i'm using this orange yarn as my stitch marker so to make sure i'm working with the correct measurement so put a stitch marker and reattach this side to that side using a slip stitch so reattach your 15 chains to the other part of the shorts using a slip stitch i really hope this is clear because it's very simple to do this So once you're done with the slip stitch, chain two, and we are going inside the chains. This is how the shot looks. So after we've put the 15 chains and attach it together using a slip stitch. This is how the shots look. So beautiful and sexy. <laughs> so we are chaining two and we are going inside the chains and making half double crochets. So make half double crochets through the 15 chains. so i'm done doing double crochets on the 15 chains and now we're continuing with the other half double crochets so just continue with normal double crochets all around the leg just like that continue double crochets okay i mean yeah 
<laughs> Continue double crochets. It's not complicated. So basically we're continuing with the same same pattern of double crochets. When we come to the end where we started our double crochets where we uh, joined using a slip stitch we will always join using a slip stitch there so we will always join using a slip stitch then we will turn our work and continue with double crochets all around so do four rows and i'll meet you at the end of your four rows And always remember to chain two after you're done slip stitching, turn your work, chain two, and do double crochets all through. So that's the pattern, just like the way we did the 6.5 rows. Okay, so do that, and I'll meet you at the end of the photos to show you how you put the beautiful shell stitches in color orange. So this is how the short should be looking after you've done the four rows. This is how it looks. Now I'm reattaching my orange yarn. I do it in a very, very basic way. I just tie a knot and that's it. <laughs> so reattach your yarn, your orange yarn. So we can start with the shell stitches at the bottom of the shorts. So to begin with the shell stitches, you chain three. So chain three and you are going to put double crochets in the very first stitch after the chain three. So put double crochets in the very first stitch after the chain three and you are putting five double crochets in that one chain okay put five double crochets in that one chain just the chain after the chain three i mean the stitch after the chain three put five double crochets in that same same stitch i hope this is really clear So this is how a shell stitch is made. This is how it looks like after you've put five double crochets in one stitch. This is how a shell looks like. So skip two, one, two, and on the third stitch, put a slip stitch. Just, just after the shell stitch, skip two on the third, put a slip stitch.
So after putting a slip stitch, always keep two and on the third chain, put five double crochets again. So put five double crochets again in that stitch, then we will skip two and on the third chain we will do a slip stitch. That is the pattern. So after the slip stitch again you will skip two and on the third chain we will put five double crochets in one stitch. Then skip two on the third chain do a slip stitch. So that is it. So I hope you understand this. So this is how it looks, very beautiful and simple. So do the same thing to the other leg hole, reattach your yarn just at the beginning 
of where you're doing the slip stitches reattach your yarn and do the same thing to the other leg hole and i'll meet you when you're done so that we do the ribbing at the waist and we will be done so your pair of shorts will be looking like this beautiful colorful and ready to go right now the only thing remaining here is putting the waist ribbing and the rope at the waist and that's it so these shorts are so colorful and ready to go so let's do the waist ribbing So I'm reattaching my yarn in a very very basic way again but you can do the other way of reattaching your yarn. So reattach your yarn and we are going to use front posts and back posts for the ribbing. So reattach your yarn then we will start with the front posts and back posts. And with this we are just doing three rows that will be enough. So we're starting with the front post and to make a front post yarn over and put your hook behind the double crochet the first double crochet that we did so just like that and make a double crochet that's how you make a front post and the next stitch is a back post to make a back post always yarn over and go at the back of the stitch just like that and make a double crochet so go at the back like that and make a double crochet that's how you make a back post so you're using front post and back post and basically that's how you make it so i'm going to show you two or three times so you understand how it's done then we'll do three rows of this so let me show you how it's done in a much slower way So that's how you do front post and back post. After you come to the end, do not turn your work. Continue the front post and back post. First, second and third row. Do not turn your work. Just continue working with the front post and back post. I'll show you 
when I'm done with the first row. I'm done with the first row. This is the first row of the front post. And it's going to be much easier now to do the second row because it's more defined. So we are working on the second row of the front post and back post and it's much easier. So let me show you how to do the second row and the third row. Then we'll do the drawstring of the waist and we'll be done. So I'm done with the ribbing and this is how it looks. So now it's time to put the drawstring. And for the drawstring, I'm going to chain 200. So chain 200 and make sure you leave enough space at the beginning of your chain so that it's easier to put a needle in there and work with it as we put it through the Westbound. Let me show you how it's done. So now we are putting our drawstring at the west and we will put it from the inside part. So when we close it, no one knows we have a drawstring at the west. So this is how we put it from the inside part. So just watch this, then you will follow through. So our drawstring is in and this is how it's used for adjustments. You can tighten or loosen your shorts just by pulling the drawstrings. This is how it looks. So um, 
these ties will be inside so no one will know you have a drawstring inside so that is how it's used for you can adjust your shots as much as you want to so thank you so much for watching this video guys remember to like share subscribe and comment down below see you in the next one goodbye